linesman we can see over on the far side of the pitch over by the building site what was the old man stand on the far side run the way an early header for uh, the captain of Norwich City Cameron Norman and then cleared away by Aurora. Uh, we'll quickly run through the Watford side as Watford try to uh, mount an early attack uh, Daniel Wilkes in goal back three of the captain back from injury Gerald Johnson uh, Alfie Young and Josh Doherty uh, a five midfield uh, when you count the two wing backs the two wing backs Jazzy Barnum Bob and Harry Kipriano the midfield three as such George Byers Chris Dillon and Ryan Hope and then Tom Rosenthal behind Alex Yakubiak and here is Rosenthal slapping it through to Kubiak and Yakubiak's got a real chance and Yakubiak scores an open goal inside 40 seconds Watford take the lead and the holders in the FA Youth Cup Norwich City are behind inside the first minute and the two men up front that we talked about earlier on Rosenthal and Yakubiak linked up very well Rosenthal fed it through very very quick to Yakubiak he lost his defender with a very good first touch and he slotted it into the corner and Bernard that's a wonderful start for the Hornets his first touch for the goal was excellent he lost, lost the man and he's He's composed enough to weigh up his options and slot it past the goalkeeper. Here comes across towards Yakubiak again. Yakubiak is brought down. That should be a penalty. And it is a penalty. Absolutely spot on referee. Nigel Lug. Great, great thing between the boys on the edge of the box. Got a ball into the box by Chris Dillon. Alex Yakubiak's in the box where he needs to be. And, well, he's carrying his goal. I think he's really going to be a little bit. Old Royal and International, under 17 International, that is. Uh, Josh Doggerty, the uh, wing back, Gordon can also play in the heart of defence. He is going to take responsibility from the spot. And this is a chance for Watford to go 2-0 up here. And uh, we've only played 11 minutes. It's been a disastrous start, really, for Zali brought down. Not much of a run-up here for Doherty. And he's tucked it in the corner. Unconventional penalty, but they all count. And yeah, Watford are 2-0 up. Yeah, that's how Josh takes the penalty. Very quick on the penalty spot, Josh. 2-0 to the boys. That will settle them down. Norwich are really shocked by the start of the goal. Well, the goalkeeper there, uh, Ben Killip, guessed the right way, but he couldn't reach the ball, which was tucked. We're well, not a great bit better. 19 minutes gone here at Vicarage Road. It's Watford 2, Norwich City 0. Trying to get the cross in here is Rhys Brown, a versatile winger. He's managed to win a corner, has he? Yes, a third corner in quick succession for, for Norwich, and have yet to get the ball into the box. I wonder if this might just change. This time, Norman has joined the white shirts bundling around in the box. The cross is in from Grant. The goalkeeper came and, well, Dan Wilkes went to punch. And I think the head of Alfie Young got in the way. Luckily, there was no danger. And then the header, when it does come in, comes from Reese Brown. There it is. The cross is a decent ball and it almost fell for Kubiano. Yeah, for Kubiak, rather. And then the shot in. Oh, that's a pull up. George Byers, unbelievable. It's 3 0 to Watford. And that's the pick of the bunch, and Watford have put one step into the fifth round before even a quarter of this match has been completed at Norwich City. Well, Watford are wiping the floor with them at the moment. The holders are on their way out. Lovely strike by George Byers from fully 25 yards and a half volley, first time right-footed, and it flew fairly past Ben Killip, who's still a stranded figure on the ground. I think they're thinking on their bench between the likes of Neil Adams, his assistant Jerry Gill and the academy manager Ricky Martin is surely that with the pressure that's coming in the last 10 minutes they deserve that goal maybe but uh, a goal now would really give them a platform to uh, work on at half time and half time is fast approaching we're into the last 30 seconds of the 45 minutes it's a free kick to Norwich City it's going to be taken by Cameron Norman he drills it low into the box and it's turned away at uh, the first time I'm asking by Ryan Hopin and drill towards goal that's a really good save by Daniel Wilkes it was the captain once again Cameron Norman He's a big strong lad and he really thumped that one towards goal from the angle. And it's the first save. For the Bit of noise from the Watford fans down below. They can sense maybe that the visit of Liverpool's under 18s is imminent. Not quite yet though. Chance of a cross for Morris. And it's behind off of. Uh, it was Byers, wasn't it? There, yeah. Byers, good defending from him. He's put in a shift in that midfield and another corner to Norwich City. And the holders are going to have to score soon, aren't they? Yeah, they, they have to score soon if they're going to make a fight of it if they don't get one now. 
I don't see one coming really. They've had a lot of corners but haven't really be, been able to break much from it. And there's the goal. That's called a commentator's curse, that one. A yeah. goal back for uh, Watford. It was a, a deep delivery from uh, the near side in the corner from Norman and it was returned back in by Loco. I'm just trying to see who it was that got him. Might even have been Heath. Goalkeeper Ben Killip. Attendance today, very healthy, 466 here at uh, Vicarage Road, I can tell you. 466 is the crowd here at Vicarage Road. Might be a few more up at the Etihad this afternoon. Don't forget John Marks is standing by for full match commentary as soon as the final whistle goes. And that is the final whistle. Uh, just quickly uh, summing up the game, very good win. Well, a uh, great win for the boys. Started off really well in 40 seconds, obviously getting the goal of Alex Sikubia. Got too quickly after by the 26th minute. In my eyes, the game was done. Norwich didn't really cause many problems apart from set pieces, and uh, the boys well deservedly through to the next round to play Liverpool here. I'd say get yourselves down here to watch the boys. They played very well today, good passing football, and uh, moving on to the next round.